did I understand the record right that after they set Shanda on fire, not once but twice, they went to McDonald's. They went to McDonald's for breakfast and joked that she looked like the sausages. That's right. It's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. It's, it's, it's just beyond belief. And two of them are out of jail. Two of them are out of jail today. How, how do you feel about that? I don't feel good about that. I, I have tried so hard to deal with Shanda's death with a little bit of dignity because I'm Shanda's voice now. There's nobody left to speak for her. And the only thing that I've ever asked is for these girls to serve their sentence. And the only one that has is Lori Tackett. She's never once asked for an appeal or asked to get out early. But the others did everything. I mean, Melinda just recently exhausted all her appeals. Hope Rippy went back and back and back until she actually got a judge to completely resentence her. And she shaved 15 years off of her sentence. There was only one thing they could do to show their remorse, and they couldn't even do that. So I don't feel good about that at all. And the reason that Hope Rippy was let out early, apparently, from the testimony that I listened to, and from what the judge said, is that because she was a model prisoner, you're supposed to be a model prisoner when you're in prison. That's what you're supposed to do. It's not like you're supposed to be rewarded for that. She could have at least served her sentence. You know, I, I, I often wonder if one of these days these girls have children and they think about someone doing that to their child. I, I would hope that they never have children. Well, I know several of them have had children. I know Tony has children. I don't know if Hope has. Well, eight years ago, uh, Lori gave a statement to a crime library reporter who was asking her why someone would kill. Here's what she said. She said, quote, let's say for instance, I know a couple of people who kill simply for the fear that they see in their victim's eyes and for the sight of the blood on their bodies. My opinion is they do it to feel superior or high on the victim's fear and they're thirsty for the spill of blood. Yeah. What do you think about that? Is she talking about herself there? Yes. She testified at, at uh, one of the hearings that she knew it was her destiny. She had always known it was her destiny to murder someone and to spend the rest of her life in prison. Now, you know, we're talking about Lori Tackett. That was her statement. And she's currently serving the remainder of her 60 years uh, at Indiana Women's Prison. Now, in her first interview, she talks about what she says her involvement was the night that Shanda was murdered. Uh, will we all look at this with me Certainly. and then we'll talk about it. Okay, let's take a look. I didn't know Shanda at all. I didn't go into that evening knowing anything was going to happen, wanting anything to happen, expecting. I didn't. Peer pressure, that's all it was. It spiraled out of control way too fast. It's something that should have never happened. If I knew then what I know now, I would have never have been there. I would have stopped everything from happening and I would have never let Shanda be picked up in the first place. I do want Shanda's mother to know how much I regret my actions and, and what happened. I feel how hard it must be for a mother. Just the pain that I've caused a mother, I mean, is, is painful for me to know that I've, I've done that to someone and that I've hurt lives that, that, that never had to be hurt. I don't feel like I will ever be free from what happened. I live with it every day. It seems like the older I get, the harder it is for me to deal with it. Every January, I relive pretty much what happened and it's, it's just extremely hard. I really don't honestly believe that I will ever be able to move on. your reaction to that? Good. Good in what way? That she's suffering? Yes, that she'll never be able to move on. And I hope every January breaks her more and more down the odor she gets. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.